guys, so welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. And what have I got in store for this one? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's going to be a short enough video, but it's going to be on these little babies. And as you can see, they're very sticky. So I'm just going to do a little quick video on, you can see there we've got gold, and you can see how one side is nice and shiny, and the other side has still got a lot of the glue. And this glue is a pain to deal with when you can hear it there peeling off, but there we go. So that glue is a pain when you go to get the gold off because underneath the green, well underneath the glue, you have this green solder mask. And in order to get that green solder mask off, I will have to be putting that into uh, lye or caustic soda, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, in America, I think it's called lye. And here in Ireland, we call it caustic soda. But the glue makes everything a bit slower. So how do I remove the glue? Well, I used to just rub the glue with my fingers like that. And just eventually you get it to move off. Um, I used to soak it in water for very hot water for a long time and um, that used to loosen it up eventually and then you'd have to scrub it off but I have discovered the easiest way everyone knows so as I was saying you can see there are the lumps of glue and again that was just removed by just messing with my thumb and just moving the glue along and eventually you'll get it to come off like that in that little snot like substance um but and it'll leave the board you can see there the difference in it you can see the, where the glue is on one side and i've removed the glue from the other side but it's time consuming it takes up a lot of time you can see there again you can see the glue and see how shiny are up in one corner where i have the glue removed and then the rest has all your glue on it but um i have discovered an easier way of doing this and the only items you really need is a toothbrush maybe um, or a cloth or anything that will move the glue after I loosen it up and what is the way to loosen it up the easiest and quickest way I found is acetone so um, if any of you don't know what that is it's what's used in we'd say nail varnish removal um the the remover is an acetone base it's in that or you can buy acetone from your local hardware store usually you can find some acetone in there so i'm going to get some acetone all i'm going to do is drop these in leave them maybe 10 15 minutes in there and the glue will turn to a jelly substance and just easily wipes off um, again now again because you're dealing with chemicals and stuff like that um and if anyone's ever um used acetone or any um, of you guys out there who paints your nails and you want to remove the nail varnish off it uh, and i'm thinking of you um ian matthews i know seriously seriously everyday solars maybe she'd be the one with her nice little nails that would maybe have some nail varnish remover but I don't have nail varnish remover, but I do have acetone, the actual chemical itself. So I'll be putting these into the acetone, soaking them, and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove the glue from it. So guys, now down here somewhere, something will be appearing to tell you maybe subscribe or like the video. So why not subscribe if you're new to the channel? And um, we'll go now and we'll check out the next stage. And what I'm going to do is as I said, put these into the um, acetone and um, again, wear protective gloves um, and um, put the put in a well ventilated area because if anyone's the same that has smelt nail varnish remover, it's a strong odor of it. So put it in a well ventilated area and um, don't do yourself any health risks over a little bit of gold or should I say gold. So let's go and um, check it out. Okay guys, so um, here we are with my acetone. So the acetone is in here. And um, so all I'm gonna be doing is dropping these boards in. So as you can see, as I said, these are got little bits of glue on them. Yeah, um, so 
I'm just going to separate them out and I'm just going to submerge them in the acetone. So again, it's just to make sure that they um, all get submerged individually. Some of them I've cleaned off already from previously, but there's still a little bit of glue. So I'm just going to throw them in. It's not going to make any difference um, if they get redone again. Any of these that are stuck together, just need to separate them. As you can see, some of them are well stuck together. So that glue is very, very tacky. So we'll just leave all these into the acetone. So the brand I'm using is just, it's just like Cure It Acetone Solvent Ceramics for Liquid Resin Top Coats. So um, it's, it's, it's a roofing product, but um, this will remove the glue very, very easily from these. Um, so you can see there, like you can see how sticky looky that looks. It's, it's very, you can see it there, um, a very tacky glue that's on them. So I'm just gonna put all these in, give them about 10 minutes and maybe 15. Um, it doesn't really matter how long you leave them in. Uh, you can leave them in as long as you want. If you left them overnight, it's not gonna make any difference. Um, you can see there where I was just testing under the board to see was it still all gold. So there, it is gold underneath there. And you can see it there again, little shine of gold. It's not copper, it's actual gold that's under there. So again, that one seems fairly clean. Well, it's a bit tacky on this side. This side, I've fairly cleaned it off. That may be one I've done already in the acetone. But um, again, it's just a matter of putting these in doesn't matter if they're already done because I'll be removing. So again, these two are stuck together. So again, some of these are black solder, green solder. Doesn't really matter. Um, you can see I um, don't have enough acetone in there. So we'll just add a bit more. And again, I will pour this back into the bottle and reuse it again um, because I may not need the amount I put in there, I just need enough to cover it. But it may not. So again, very tacky. And you can see where I've already cleaned off the corner up here. So this one, I've done one side and the other side, you can see the difference in the glue. So I've snapped that in half. So we can compare it. That was the one I've done by hand. And then we'll see how easy that comes off compared to it so again um, and anywhere it's all that tacky stuff we're just putting it in so this is just a sample of them i have a lot more boards but i'm not going to do them all in this video so again it's just to make sure the boards get completely submerged And let the acetone do its work. So that's it guys. They're all in there. And we're going to leave that for 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll come back and check it out. So it'll be instant for you guys. But it'll be 10 to 15 minutes for me. Right. So I left it probably more than... 10 or 15 minutes because I got distracted doing other stuff. So um, let me just put the angle down a bit so we can get a better look at it. Okay, so there we are ready. So I have the gloves on now and we're just going to pick out something, let's say this one here. If it'll let me pick it out. So I have the gloves on and you can already see it's gone all tacky and go goopy, gloopy like a gloop, the glue. So all I do then, so I just get a little sponge and I just wipe it all off. So you can see the way that just comes off into 
just tacky old glue so again you can just put it in there and it just all comes off it so that already took a little while and you're probably wondering why am I going to all this effort to remove this glue well anyone that has ever done these boards will tell you that when you go to the next stage when you're using the caustic soda and lye that if you have this glue on it the caustic soda cannot penetrate it as easy underneath the solder mask to reveal the gold so and as I said that is straightforward so we'll just put it into another container so again we'll pick another one so this one is again you can see the So as soon as I've rubbed it with the sponge, you can see that it all just comes off in gloops. So again here you can see it on this one. And again, if we just get the sponge. And you can see it all there just coming off. Like a gel so acetone my friends is the way to go on these it does it so quick and you can see that it just makes it like into a gloop and it's easy to remove it off so even if you wanted to get a knife or something you can just scrape it off with a knife even a toothbrush so we see I will oh. a toothbrush so again pick another one out let's we'll see how the toothbrush works on it so you can see it there So there it is. Brilliant, as I must say so myself. Um, speeds it up so quick compared to the way I used to do it. Having to scrape it off, you have a lot of this old gloop and stuff left, but it doesn't really matter. So, you know, just put that in there for a minute. Um, so you have that old gloopy stuff, so make sure you're wearing gloves. Um, as this old tacky stuff can be a bit on the hands would not be too desirable so that's it really guys for this video so again should be a little link there maybe now to subscribe again or a reminder to subscribe to the channel um, and um, maybe like the video comment let me know if you've done this before or have you another way of doing it um, will this be something you're going to try to remove the solder mask um, or after, to remove the glue from the solder mask before you um, put these into your um, lye or caustic soda. Again, this will be washed off in boiling water just to make sure I have no traces of the um, acetone left on it because we don't want any traces of acetone left when we're adding caustic soda and stuff. So, because we really don't want a chemical reaction of them two mixing. So, again, you can just see it there. Just takes it off. So easy. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. That's all I have for this video. It's, um, this is it. I'm glad I found this way of doing it. It speeds things up so much, so quick. Look at that. Just takes it off so easy compared to the old ways or having to scrape it off and 
leave it in hot water for hours to try and soften it up this is just removes it so so quick and it does it in a kind of even way that um, they all kind of get done at the same rate and it doesn't matter if I leave it in too long it's not going to do anything to the gold it's not going to do anything to the boards um, so again I'm just amazed how quick it takes it off and um, so you're just left with that group so anyway I'm not going to drag this video on any longer so thanks for watching guys and um, don't forget to subscribe like share comment and um, hopefully we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching